Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garn Jen's Journey. Today is a beautiful day and we're doing a lot of work in the garden, getting it ready for the new uh, season. We did a lot of work yesterday because again it was a beautiful day and we're trying to take advantage of this good weather and the time off that my husband and my son had to get my garden ready to go so I can just get going and get done what needs to be done. So today I'm going to take you for a walk through the garden showing you what's changing and uh, what we're planning on. So come on with me to the drawing board. I'm going to show you it on paper and then I'm going to take you outside. Okay, so this is my new plot map that I drew out after using my old one. It was all scribbled on because I'm reorientating my beds. Um, I mentioned that in I think the last video that I did about my garden. Um, my beds used to go this way, um, but um, you're supposed to orientate them north and south so they get the east and uh, west sun. So I'm reorientating my beds. So I had to completely redo my garden again. I've redone it five times. <laughs> every year I redo it and my son makes a wise crack about it because every year I say this will be the last time we change it and it gets changed again. <laughs> but anyways this is what it looks like on paper. I have my rose garden here that's got some roses and it's got I have grapes right here. We're gonna put actually put a trellis right here because it's growing up onto the dog run and it's just a mess. Um, I pruned it up to uh, yesterday and we're gonna take a uh, cattle panel kind of trellis and we're gonna go like this way and we're gonna take the grapevines and train them um, where they're nice and organized up the trellis that's gonna go this way. Um, so yeah, that's my rose garden. I have a ditch here that's been here ever since we moved in. It was just some sort of uh, ditch that they used to burn things in and whatnot. Um, so we left it as a ditch and that's where we put um, some of our potatoes. We grow other con potatoes in containers and things like that. I have my medicinal bed. This is a perennial bed and I also put some annual medicinals in there. So that doesn't change. I have some baby fig trees growing here. These are Chicago hardy figs. They die back every year. So this year I'm hoping they'll get really nice and tall. Um, I have garlic in here that I planted last fall. So that's there. This used to be uh, entrance. Uh, we had a long time ago we had when we first started we had a path that went all the way through. And then it went out this way and we had a path that went out behind the garage and back to the house that made a, a circle. But since then we've closed this area off and we actually did some work on it yesterday. But this is my chicken run so there's no path, there's nowhere that this path goes anymore. So we're actually um, uh, narrowing the path that we used to have to fit our trellis to make it a little bit tighter. Um, so we can fit more growing space in here. So I have my trellises marked out. I have four trellis areas, one, two, three, and four. And then some um, four foot wide beds for um, tomatoes and broccoli and cabbage and things like that. And then uh, my greenhouse and my compost bin. I have it all marked here. And I'm going to take you out and show you what it looks like outside since we've been working on it and kind of give you an idea of what we're doing. A lot's going on and we still have a lot more to do. So I'm going to take you outside now. Okay, so we're heading into the main garden. That's our focus today. You can see I have my jugs here and over there. I have approximately 90 to 100 jugs, I think 120 uh, jugs right now that I have done. I've got about 30 more I'm going to do when it's a little bit warmer. Uh, they seem to be a little touchy um, with our uh, weird weather the last couple years. So anyways, those are my jugs. 
and this is my rose garden that I was showing you on paper. I've got all sorts of stuff in here. We've got the roses. I've got some lilies, some irises. I got some daffodils over there. I have a sedum, all sorts of stuff. And then over there against that um, palette is the um, grapes that were going up there. And uh, I cut a bit of, a lot of it down because I really pruned it um, yesterday. And then we're going to take the main vines and we're going to have another trellis that's going this way. And we're going to train them off the trellis so we can keep uh, them a little more organized and so they'll, they'll do a little bit better. And one important addition I made to the garden this year is we put bird feeders out. Uh, a very good organic way to keep bugs out of your garden is to have birds. And to get birds, you need bird feeders. And hopefully the cats don't eat the birds. <laughs> Anyways, so moving on. All right, this is um, where my pollinator bed was last year. Um, I have a couple of perennials in here. I have my bee balm in here. And then way down yonder in its own container, my husband redid that yesterday, is the tansy. Um, the tansy will get uh, that big enough to fill that container. And I'll show you what the stump looks like right now. But um, we built that to keep it standing upright because it'll fall all over the place and it's a mess. But it is a wonderful plant in here. So we worked with it and figured out how to contain it to stand it upright so it wasn't laying all over my garden. But anyways, this bed's going to get torn apart. Um, he just did the basics yesterday because we did a lot of work. I'll show you as we go around. But this is going to get torn down because, again, I'm moving my beds vertical this way instead of horizontal because that was a bad idea. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we're flipping those around. I got another bird feeder there. And then over yonder, I got another bird feeder. <clears throat> One of the main things that was done yesterday that was very, very important. Um, if you guys have seen my videos from past, you know I had a zigzag pallet fence here. It looked really cool, but it actually was not very um, functional, not the way that I had dreamed it would be. And we also decided that um, my chickens needed shade in the summer um, because there was no shade. However, I have two, no, I have three, sorry, three large elderberry bushes. Um, my husband pruned them yesterday, so um, they're not as large as they were, but uh, they grew about 10 foot tall last year. But anyways, they're in this area which was actually outside the chicken run. Do you remember me talking about a walkway? It was right here and went through there to where the chicken run used to stop at. Um, it's kind of hard to show you where it is at the moment. But anyway, he brought the chicken run fencing all the way up against my pallets so the chickens now can get under the elderberries for shade in the summer. So that was a major project that uh, we did yesterday. And it com comes complete with a sliding door. So um, I can open that door and the chickens can come in and out of the garden during the off season. Um, I have a couple things that are coming up right now, um, but the chickens aren't bothering them too much. Eventually when they have more seedlings and things like that, they're starting to grow more tender things that the chickens will tear right up. Um, they won't be allowed in the garden anymore, so that, that door will stay closed. But uh, yeah, so we put an easy access for the chickens to get into the garden. That was another thing. So there, that's the first trellis that we have. And right now that, that walkway, like I said, it used to be a walkway, is about six foot wide. So what we're going to do to conserve space um, and to maximize space is we're actually going to bring that side in. So it's going to be four foot wide and it's going to have a two foot bed on the other side of it because you can reach two foot across. So we're doing two foot beds um, alongside my trellis. And then the same with this trellis. This trellis has been here for eons. You can see I kind of set up the two foot bed here to kind of see what it looks like. And again, 
this side here is going to be pulled in so it's a four foot wide expanse between the edges of the um, trellis. And my chickens are having a great old time. That's my youngest rooster, Henry. His dad's the same exact kind as he is. <laughs> He's a pretty boy. Uh, we hatched uh, three chicks le uh, last uh, fall. Oh, Henry's over here. I mean, Red. Red is our main rooster. This is Mr. Red. Isn't he gorgeous? But like I said, his son looks just like him. And then he has another son, because we ended up with two roosters and one hen. His other son, if he comes around, I'll show you what he looks like. He's really gorgeous in a, his own kind of way. But anyways, uh, more of what I did with the, the math there. I have logs from when I had my beds the other way. They're just kind of laid out to kind of give me an idea of where my new beds are going to go. And of course, we haven't cut them to length or anything. They're just laid out to kind of give me an idea of what the bed's going to look like this year. So yeah, a lot going on. I'm really excited. Um, and we'll see how it goes. My peas are in those jugs here because this is where I grow my peas. Um, I have to get... Well, apparently Red doesn't like that idea. But I have to get more trellises and put them back. I used to have three of them here, and then I moved them around. But my peas are grown here in this spot, so yeah. And then right here, this is where I have my garlic. And um, you can't see it very well because of the snow fencing. But this is one of the bed. This is a bed that the chickens just tear up. But it's easy enough to keep them out by putting the snow fencing there. Oh, here's Stilbert. He came to visit us. Isn't he gorgeous? Yep. Dilbert and Henry, those are our young boys. <laughs> I love chickens, they're awesome. So that's what we have going on out here. Um, a lot of growth is, is happening, even though today is kind of cold. It's about 35. We're supposed to get up to, I think, 48. So we're getting there. But um, I trimmed a lot of dead, dead stuff away. My hyssop's coming back. Um, my whorehound. I've seen some yarrow sprouts over there. Okay, let's see. My chives are coming up there. And it's kind of hard to see them. My yarrow is coming up there. My thyme's coming back. Oh, I almost forgot to show you my tansy stump. Because it's kind of funny, I was laughing yesterday when my husband cut it down. Because we did a lot of our cleaning up um, yesterday. So, this is the, the stump, if you want to call it. The root ball of my tansy. And tansy is a perennial. But this root ball um, makes so many stems that grow so tall and are so heavy that they will actually fill out this four by four square. So um, last year it was laying across onto the um, uh, garden walkway so you can't get through. So my husband put the pellets up around it to, to push it back up into the air so he could get by. So um, this year he made sure he made a containment unit <laughs> for my tansy so it's really nice and then um, I have a bed that goes back off here and then I'll have another one I can't do anything right now because my jugs are all there and I'm not moving those right now but I have another bed that will go about right there in that direction it's going to be the other trellis bed that I had showed you so yeah a lot going on um, and I can hardly wait to see what the garden looks like as it continues to grow. So I will continue to share that with you. Um, I'm just really looking forward to another year. And um, hopefully it'll be better than last year. But um, I would say every year is better than the previous year. Because hopefully you learn something and uh, you can move forward. So, alright everybody. 
This is Jen from Gar and Jen's Journey. I hope that wherever you are, you are having a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye.